To assist with triaging an issue and giving recommendations for remediation, we have a feature called AI Insights. So I'm going to go find another user. And in this case, I'm actually going to look for the last seven days. And we're going to pick one user, in this case, Melanie. And here's the AI Insights button. And this will look at the data set uh, over the last seven days and do an analysis of the different experiences, uh, poor experience, fair experience, and a good experience. Uh, it will show you any common application crashes and some recommendations about common issues that were detected. For example, uh, there were some issues with available memory, user input delay and app crashes, and it will provide information about this on how to possibly remediate these. We also, based on the data set, provide some information about anomalies. Uh, in this case, uh, a fairly high latency was uh, detected over the last, uh, uh, well, at least over a certain period of time. Uh, that could be something to further investigate, as well as a uh, CPU spike doesn't seem too, too crazy, 23%, uh, but it is something that is different than what we normally see on this particular user. Another use of AI technology <coughs> is our conversational chatbot. So if we go back to devices, we can access our chatbot from the button in the top right. The chatbot provides various pre-canned questions, uh, either as inspiration or to quickly show uh, or to quickly access information for common ideas. Uh, in this case, not too excited uh, because I have such a restricted device group. Besides the pre-canned questions, you can also just type in in natural language. Like this question where I'm going to ask for the top 10 most installed applications in a pie chart. And as you can see, a uh, bunch of Dell devices, you can see that it is showing me what I asked for. This can be copied, it can be downloaded as data, uh, or obviously you can take a screenshot or whatever you want to do where you what your purpose is.